Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storybook Photography and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this edit in just a few quick and easy steps. So this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, it was a foggy day out and it was just amazing. I wish we ha could have fog every day of the week um, and every day of the year for that matter. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is go into my actions panel and click on the Storyville image base and hit play. And I'm going to leave everything set at the opacities that they come with, except for the contrast. I'm going to bump that up to about 62-65%. So that's the before and here's the after. The next thing I want to do is bring some turquoise into the scene. So I'm going to go into the lavish turquoise which you can find in the crazy for color pack and I'm gonna hit the play here now as you can see it comes in with a black inverted mask instead of that I want it to be white so I don't have as much work um, cleaning it off of my subject since I want it on pretty much the whole image except for them so I'm gonna hit command I and then I'm gonna make sure that I have a soft black brush at 100% opacity and just going to kind of zoom in and wipe it off of them. Now if you're doing this for a client or you plan on printing, I would take a bunch of time to get it perfect. You don't want any haloing. You can even use a harder brush to prevent the halo, um, but for the tutorial purposes, I'm just doing this really quick. I also want to take it off of the road or the sidewalk and that looks good to me. Um, I do want a little bit more turquoise in the image so what I'm going to do is open up the action there and I'm going to go to the turquoise base and I'm going to hit command J and that is going to duplicate it. Now I, it looks like it saturated the grass a little bit too much for my liking but I absolutely love how it looks in the sky and in the trees. So I'm just going to click on the layer mask, take a soft black brush at 100% opacity, and just wipe it off. There. So that's the before and after there. And now I want to bring a little bit more orange into the trees and really make them pop. So for that I'm going to hit the crazy for coral and I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to keep it inverted and just paint it on the trees um, at 100% opacity with a soft white brush. And then I'm probably going to tone it down a little bit after, but I like to see where I'm painting, so I keep it on full blast. Pretty. So I'm going to start at the zero and just kind of see where my eye likes it. And I think I like it there. And the last thing I want to do is just kind of darken the bottom a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to make sure that I am um, on the black right there, and I'm going to select, oh, you can't see it off of here, but I'm going to click this little circle at the bottom and hit the gradient, and I'm just going to leave it linear bottom at 100% and hit OK, and select soft light. Turn it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a soft black brush at 100% opacity and just brush it off the top part of them. Before and after. And that about does it, guys. So quick, so easy. Um, here was the before, and there is the after. You can find the actions that I used on the website, www.storybillphotography.com. Have a great day, guys. Bye.